Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rokok Radash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David reborn again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the slanderous campaign which the so-called Jews who are biblically known as the Edomites uh, in the Bible are going to perform against the Negro Latinos and Native Indians who are known as the Israelites of the Bibles but let's read this first this is Psalms 50 and 19 thou givest thy mouth to evil thy tongue frameth deceit thou sitteth and speaketh against thy brother thou slandereth thine own mother's son and this scripture is talking about uh, Edom, the nation who you would know today as the so-called Caucasians. This includes the so-called Jewish people who live in Israel and who pretty much own everything in the world right now. They're right now, they are framing deceit. Uh, they're framing a whole system so that way they can uh, come out on top and uh, and be the owners of the world in this new world order that they're pushing through and in doing so they are also going to uh, slander their their own mother's son and what this refers to it refers to uh, uh, Esau or Edom's twin brother Jacob right Edom is going to blame Jacob for uh, for a lot of the tra the tragedies and the hate crime and the so-called anti-semitic uh, attacks are going to come against them and um, we're going to go ahead and see a recent uh, one of these that came out now concern is rising in the jewish community after a series of anti-semitic incidents over the last several days cbs 2's amy johnson shows us and has reaction from local jewish leaders these signs popped up near the kosher market in the 400 block of La Brea early this week. This um, is cause for uh, further investigation and hopefully uh, some clarity as to who indeed is uh, trespassing in this way. Richard Hershoff is the regional director for the American Jewish Committee. The signs spark fear for some in the community because they may have a connection to their horrific attack at the market in Jersey City last week. There have been um, pockets and clusters of uh, an organization called the Black Hebrew Israelites in some of the larger cities and urban areas across the United States. Whether or not there is any link whatsoever to uh, this, those who are propagating uh, this message and, and uh, promoting these flyers uh, versus um, the, uh, the horrific attack in Jersey City is something that uh, we simply do not know. The signs have been taken down, but you can still see the remnants of this one, part of the sign and the tape, and it was hanging just steps away from the market. There has been an increase in anti-Semitic violence in the LA area. The LAPD just released this video of a suspect accused of vandalizing cars in three Jewish schools between December 14th and 16th. And this is the man police say vandalized the Nessa Synagogue in Beverly Hills, desecrating a Torah and damaging other items. Sadly, part of a steady drumbeat of hate that we've seen in America. Hershoff will be part of a special town hall for action to combat anti-Semitism tonight in Beverly Hills. Amy Johnson, CBS2 News. As you just seen in that video, these devils are out here uh, starting to call, uh, um, call attention to them being the victim. Right now, these so-called Jews who like I said, are biblically known as the Edomites, and primarily they're known as Amalek or, or Amalek Edomites, right? Which is the top tribe of, of Edom. Let's go and take a look at the family uh, tree so we could identify who these people truly are. Okay, so when you get into the nation of Edom and you look at. Uh, Esau's bloodline when you follow it down to his first son Eliphaz and then you look at Eliphaz's 
first son Amalek from them come the Amalekites and that's also where you get this guy Agag who was hewed to death by uh, our prophet Samuel and uh, Haman who you know from the story of uh, Esther well uh, these descendants of Amalek would be your so-called Jews today these would be those people who, who uh, call themselves the Jews who are truly Edomites along with the Caucasian race here so you got the so-called Jews and then the Edom then the Caucasians now these people have a tendency to play the victim and a lot of the things that tend to come up upon them tend to be found out that were actually done by these same people themselves so that way they could then reap the benefits of a uh, of people being blamed for the anti-semitic uh think uh you know uh vandalism that goes on now not only do they do have throughout history have they been caught um, perpetrating uh, violence against themselves and also faking violence against themselves but they have a whole system which uh, which lets them pass this meet this false news and lies to everybody in the world and keep repeating it ad nauseum until it gets brainwashed into everybody's mind right and when you go into these people's own playbook the protocols of learned elders of Zion you can read this in protocol 12 section 4 let's read it it says we control the press not a single announcement will reach the public without our control even now this is already being attained by us in so much as all news items are received by a few agencies in whose offices they are focused from all parts of the world these agencies will then be already entirely ours and will give public publicity only to what we dictate to them if already now we have contrived to possess ourselves of the minds of the goy referring to what they refer to as the goyim or everybody else who is not a so-called jew goy communities to such an extent that they all come near looking upon the events of the world through the colored glasses of those spectacles we are setting astride their noses if already now there is not a single state where there exists for us any barriers to admittance into what goy stupidity calls state secrets what will our petition positions be then with when we shall be acknowledged supreme lords of the world in the person of our king of all the world so pretty much they're going to control all the news of the world along with all the uh the things deemed as state secret because they're going to ultimately run the governments now besides all these like uh well we that video i just showed you you're starting to see a lot more anti-semitic uh, attacks start being publicized all over the nation and why is this well one it is going to be because a lot of people are finding out what's happening there aren't there aren't not everybody's asleep to this and it's not only the Negroes Latinos native Indians who are waking up it's also the whole other nations around the world right now you have the uh, the BDS the boycott um, what is it referred to it's a uh, it's a boycott Israel movement going on right now that people are trying to boycott things made from Israel because of all the stuff that that Israel is behind you have other people like the Caucasians starting to wake up who are who are no, who have woken up to the so-called Jews controlling their their government and basically you know throwing them under the bus so you got a lot of people who are just pissed off at a lot of these these so-called Jews and are starting to actually come out against them and saying what they're doing is wrong but you also have a lot of these so-called Jews playing the victim right now this is and, and again this isn't happening that much the only thing is is they're reporting it more 
right? And the way that they're reporting it more is because just like I read in the uh, Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion, they, these people have accomplished their goals. They have now control over the news system. So if you're reading something online or watching something on TV, more than likely it's going through a so-called Jewish um, filter, unless it's alternative media, which is why that alternative media has been um, demonized in the public eye. Now, let's go ahead and let's look at this guide here. Now, the red represents a so-called Jew. When you look at the here on the left, you got the, the company. And for that company, you have the president, the CEO, the founder, the owner, the vice president, and the chairman of the company. So let's take a little scroll down and let's see what the uh, what the red, how many red um, people we could actually see in these organizations and all these news associations. And this goes from the Fox News, ESPN Sports, Warner Brothers, Google, New York Times, NBC, uh, Los Angeles Times, Facebook, Huffington Post, uh, Hulu, even the Marvel Studios, Time, Inc., Miramax, HBO, Pixar, MSNBC, Comcast, and all of these, man. What do you see on here? They're mostly so-called Jewish owners. And that's because these people are the people who control the system. And there you go. And and with this power, what do they do? It tells you right here in Revelations 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of, of his, the Masiak, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. So not only are these so-called Jews accusing us of being the criminals of society, of you know basically being the, the, the scum of society, and also attacking them and you know them you know um, them being the victims, but they're also accusing us of other spiritual things to God directly, in the hopes that God will Will, will choose them again for for the, the blessing and not not destroy them right but that ain't gonna happen because you see one thing that that they're why they're why they're uh, coming out now and playing the the victim more is because they know that scriptures like this exist in the Bible in the book of revelations which they do not believe in they you know again they don't even read the, the Torah they don't or excuse me they don't even believe in the Torah. Their book is called the Talmud, which is the Babylonian teachings of men, right? Not the not the God-given uh, scriptures that Moses gave us, man, or that the prophets or the, the later on the apostles uh, wrote, right? But this is these are the scriptures that they're trying to run from because they're gonna because people are gonna start waking up to this information because the, us prophets have come out and started to read these scriptures and explain them to people, right? This is Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And that's referring to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? Because we are spiritually rich, man, even though we're in poverty, man. So this is another way that you know it's not talking about these so-called Jews, because those people, they own everything, man. They are the richest people, you know, uh, as a nation in, in the world, man. They, they own everything, right? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, right? And this was not only said to uh, to uh, once; it was said it was said again. And uh, where is it at? Uh, here, and here's the second time it's said. This is Revelations three and nine. Behold, I will make them. Of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jew and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because ultimately, people are going to start realizing that these Israelis, Amalekite, Edomites, that they're not the people of God. You know, you know, this is what they're trying to stop um, with with their news head, their news, um, you know, system with their um, anti-defamation of, of the Negro, Latinos, Native Indians, right? Trying to, to, to you know, say that 
uh, simply the name of Yahweh Shai, that's anti-Semitic. You see, they now are trying to stop the, the, the name of God being used, man. But it's too late because it tells you in the Bible, man, what's going to happen to them, right? And people are starting to realize that these people are, are nothing but, but liars, right? Because and there, there's even, uh, I'm going to show you a bunch of cases right now where it shows where they got caught uh, playing the victim and stuff right here. So this is uh, even from the Department of Justice. It says, U.S. Israeli man charged in connection with threats to Jewish com com uh, community centers conveying false information and cyber stalking, right? Michael Ron David Kadar. Uh, 18 who holds dual US and Israeli citizen and who was recently arrested in Israel was charged today with making threatening calls to Jewish community centers in Florida you see this man nearly 30% of anti-semitic online attacks are bots basically robots man you see all these things that these people um, keep keep talking about are, are, uh, are nothing but, but robots and stuff man these are false these are false claims the hate report fake hate strikes so does real hate tells you here uh, on Thursday Michael Kadar an 18 an 18 year old Jewish American was arrested in Israel uh, with his father and charged for making hundreds of threatening phone calls to Jewish community centers right hundreds no and not only just one center but multiple centers man because you see they have an agenda to push, man. They have an agenda to play the victim, right? So that way, so that way, uh, they look all innocent. Family cafe owners are charged over hate crime hoax for staging the most violent and vicious anti-Semitic attacks on their own business. Bear Max Cafe owners Alexander Berent and Oksana Berent, 48, and Maxim Berent, 29 have all been charged with public mischief. They told Canadian cops swastikas had been drawn on the walls of their cafe. Police called it one of the worst hate crimes after it was reported last Thursday, and the incident was dubbed the most brazen Winnipeg had ever seen. But officers now say the attack was staged and arrested the parents and son. A motive for staging the incident has not been disclosed by police. And that's because these guys ain't gonna, like it tells you in the protocols of Lord and Elders of Zion, they are not, they are never going to reveal the truth. Even when they are, even when they are um, confronted with it, it, they are told to that if they were to reveal the truth, it would be as if they were to kill the entire race, right? Because they need to play the victims anywhere they go, so that way they then have free reign over that community. That's why they do this. We don't joke about swastikas on our walls, Oksana said, denying it with stage. Since emerged, the family reported a similar hate crime the previous month, right? So these people, look at this man, these Edomites, man, red devils, dude, red devils, right? They got caught, they got caught and stuff, man. Look at that's Esau, man, that's Esau there with the red hair, red skin. Not even freaking using the the, the the Seder plate right and shit, you know? Bringing in their, their Germanic customs. These people are known. See, Jewish student behind some dorm swastikas. All the way back to 2007. A Jewish college student who reported swastikas on her dorm door drew some of them herself. Sarah Morsak, a George Washington University freshman, was caught on tape by a hidden camera in the sixth incident of a swastika drawing on her dormitory door. Mershak um, told the university student newspaper that she drew the last three of the six swastikas. See that man? Jewish man accused of spray painting swastikas on own home. Look at this man, these damn devils. Jewish suspects, Jewish suspects arrested over swastika graffiti on synagogues. Police believe two teenagers were behind paint attacks in, in Pita T uh, Tikva. Right? Police said Sunday that they had arrested two teenagers on suspicion of uh, 
dabbing swastikas on two synagogues in central of um, Pita Tikva and stuff. It says, a police source confirmed to the Times of Israel that the suspect 17 for blah 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 Hefa are both Jewish. Come on, people. You see, these devils, they, they, uh, <laughs> they earn this uh, mon moniker, man. This right here is is not an anti-Semitic uh, um, com comic, man. This is the truth. This is what these people do because they play the victim, so that way it makes everybody feel sorry for them, and hence they then get the advantage wherever they move to, man. Right? And when they get caught, they say that they they do it so that way people don't forget about the Holocaust, which is which is bullshit because that's even found out. When you look at the Nuremberg uh, death reports, it's only about 300, like 300,000, 350,000 or something like that, right? So these people have inflated those numbers to over 6 million when, when there weren't even 6 million uh, so-called Jews in Europe at that time, right? And it's big business as, uh, as uh, was told on the um, one of these talk shows, man. They had to cut to commercial real quick when that, when that Jake brought that truth out. Age. At that time, my whole family is wiped out. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. The Holocaust is big business because uh, Germany so far has given the Jews, I think, at least $200 billion. So it's big business. And some of you are still getting $1,000 a month. And a lot of people don't know this. And then uh, people don't realize who brought the slaves to America. They were Jewish ships. <laughs> But ultimately, man, you know, this devil, he's going for he's going for the goal line, man. He's he's trying to make um, the the truth into a, a, a slanderous uh, term, so that way people don't listen to it, man. But see, the Lord's gonna gonna destroy his attempts at taking this truth out, right? He, this is Job five and twelve. He just dis disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with the darkness in the daytime, and grope in, in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. Right? And because of that, man, See, he's not going to be able to take down the truth. He's not going to be able to um, de deceive the elect. And this truth is ultimately going to reach who it's going to going to need to reach, man. But he is going to accomplish a great work of deception, as it tells you here in Revelations 20 and 7, the points in uh, 8. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And this right here is talking about when, um, when Edom, the so-called... Caucasians, or I'm just saying, Caucasians and the so-called Jews, uh, basically got thrusted out of their the rulership of Rome in about 200 A.D. Fled up to the Caucasus Mountains, lived there for about a thousand years, reinvented themselves as the Caucasians, and then came out. You know, you had the 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 so-called Caucasians today come out about 1200 A.D. And then you had the Amalekites stay in the Caucasus Mountains in that region and became known as the Khazarians, but they also at that point had come out at about 1200 AD as the so-called Jews at that time. They were calling themselves Jewish, you know, because in 700, uh, I think 20 AD, they had converted to, uh, to the heritage. They had converted the heritage of the so-called Negroes into a religion and they referred and they called it Judaism, right? And then they started calling themselves Jews, right? That's how they have deceived the nations, man. And they continue to deceive the nations, but because but it doesn't matter because ultimately it tells you here in Numbers 24 and 20 what is going to be their their ultimate end, right? For all the wickedness and lies that they have spread and destruction that they have spread throughout the world and making this place into a hellhole. This is Numbers 24 and 20, and when he looked on Amalek, he took up this parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he is. He perish forever. And that's what's going to happen to these people, man. They are going to be 
wiped out from the from the existence of humanity by God not by anybody here on earth because nobody here on earth can destroy these people man they are the most powerful people in the world you know you got the political economic you know military might nobody's gonna be able to just take them out and that's why when the Lord comes back he's gonna have to take them out man because these guys are the devil that have ran the world right and he is done with them they have accomplished their their mischief man so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, touch upon that Akiam hopefully uh, this video was edifying until the next time I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yoshai Bashem Rukak Wadash double honors to my teachers the apostles and elders of the great millstone peace and mercy to the elect Shalom <laughs>